Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's nice to see you again. Joining me here for yet another garden makeover in the three part series. This is number two and today I'm going to be focusing more on the other end of our garden. So more towards our patio, the space that is closest to our house and the doors that open out into the garden. And this has been a long transformation. And it has kind of been tied up with like the garden as a whole but yeah it is it's taken some time we started in april <laughs> thinking okay spring good time to start working on the garden and as with i'm sure a lot of garden outdoor projects it's been a lot more work than we thought a lot more physical labor i have spent many mornings waking up very achy and a lot of pain <laughs> from all of the kind of squatting lunging picking things up yeah just using my body in ways that don't generally use it so i guess it's been good for my physical health but i'm very glad that it is done so when we moved in, I've said before, our garden was kind of massive, is massive, especially compared to what we are used to. So there was just a lot of space and a lot to do. We actually started trying to work on the garden last August, so like a year ago and we thought we could make a big dent in it <laughs> at the time but really we quickly worked out that that was not going to be the case it was in a really bad state there were so many weeds i know you know every garden has weeds but i would say like 80 percent of the grass or what you could call grass the, the greenery on the ground in the garden was weeds maybe even more there were a lot of very very bald patches where it was really dusty and i think probably because of our neighbor's garden which is what's a nice way of putting it just slightly uncared for a little bit wild um a jungle so lots of their weeds were like growing into our garden they have like a tree as well roots were coming into our garden and then like actually things were growing off that we also have a big tree on the other side the side that's next to the road and that has a lot of roots <laughs> very very big roots along with the ivy that's all the way along the other side of the fence so not on the side of our garden but that was all growing in it just meant the lawn was a bit of a state and so we tried doing some de-weeding and realized what an intense project it was and that we just probably were gonna have to <laughs> lower our expectations. But then, yeah, this spring, Nick did tons of, of weeding and putting up roots and just trying to do as best job as he could. And on the patio space, we actually used weed killer and, and down the sides on the border before we were really out there so that you know we weren't going to be in that space and the kids weren't going to be in that space for a little bit um, just so that we could obliterate the ones that grow up through the paving and like the paving was in a really bad way as well I mean it still is but we've tried to kind of work with it like they're not secure and it's a little bit wonky and actually the the paving kind of goes on a bit of a slope and the paving space isn't that big for the size of the garden like it made it quite challenging to know how to work with that space but we've we've done it i had to think creatively but i'm really happy with how it turned out from how it was at the beginning so i would love to show you the before and then I will take you through the whole process of the transformation which spreads out many many months. Um, which is slightly overgrown and in need of weeding. Um, actually I think there's like loads of stinging nettles in there. <laughs> so yeah we might need to like kid safe it before but it's got like a nice little patio kind of plain at the moment um yes that is the road that you can hear <laughs> that was one of the downsides about um this 
place, but it's fine. Nothing we can't get used to. So to start with, I used this exterior paint from Lick in Black 01, which is a really nice off black colour with some blue undertones. And my biggest piece of advice with using this particular, I was going to say brand, but the Lick interior isn't quite the same. Um, but definitely the exterior is just to give it a really good stir before you start actually brushing it on. So yeah, we left this whole patch of the fence last time because this massive shed behind me is, well, it's usually in the way, pulled it out and discovered a whole world of creepy crawlies, a paradise for little critters. And honestly, so now they've all dispersed, but like millipedes and, or centipedes, I don't know which one's which. Um, and like, oh, just like metallic looking things. that so we get like these little bugs that are like almost white. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know, seeing them in a cluster. Um, and so Nick was like, right, yes, yeah, see ya. I've got to go do some work. You can handle this. So I've got to like clear all the leaves that have gathered behind the shed before I actually get painting on this. So garden progress. I managed to finish this whole side of the fence when was it over a week ago now gosh this is slow progress um so i need to do this this whole bit <laughs> rather large section and um and then also need to sort this out so plan is to sand it and then paint it white just because i think that will be maybe easier to maintain um it's just very sun bleached at the moment and very rough so hoping to sort that out um and then yeah nick's like been doing bits and bobs in the garden so he's put down a load more grass seed um in a last ditch attempt to make these bald patches grow <laughs> and um you can see where we got given some turf because our friends had extra turf that they didn't need so he basically put it down in the worst bit so you can see here where the grass looks lovely um yeah which has kind of just made us want to turf the whole thing but not only is that i mean it's not super pricey it's a bit pricey i think more i was like nick are you gonna die because <laughs> uh this was intense even just putting this much down obviously having to like dig it up and break it and prepare it beforehand um so yeah, I don't know if we'll do that yet, but it would make a massive difference because the grass is looking better than it was, but it's still very patchy and it looks a bit barren in places. So we'll see. I'm going to get painting oh. <laughs> and catch my breath because apparently speaking is a lot of effort for me. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll get this side done today. Finally finished painting our fence as you might be able to see behind which oh, was not a small job that is a lot of fence to have to paint and I'm so thankful for the lick paint that I was gifted because it's so good that you genuinely only need one coat and I don't think I could have stomached having to paint another coat on the fence so that worked out really well anyway now I need to clear the decks a bit here and I'll show you what I'm going to paint next and it's a very small area so <laughs> I'm very pumped about that. So welcome, <laughs> welcome to our patio. This is like, this isn't even all of the bags over the last couple of months. Um, Nick did a 
run last week to the tip for our garden waste and then this is i mean the hose shouldn't be <laughs> involved in this but yeah we've got to dispose of all of this stuff and then all of the added little bits like <laughs> this that nick pulled out of the ground when he was putting the turf in um grass wise uh, as you can see nick hasn't yet filled in this I don't think he has filled in this bit I don't know I'm a bit confused by what what's going on with the garden this is like a separate new one that's really yellow so at the moment it's looking a little bit patchwork and it needs a good cut but this is the stuff that was originally new turf and then the grass seeds little bits pockets have grown up really well so actually we know that it does work just need to give it a little bit of time and not and next put more grass seed on so yeah i mean it's vastly better than it was before um but now the next job is for me clearing this area sorting out this um so that i can get to this wooden panel bit it's really sun bleached and so i thought i'd just sand it down a bit quite rough and then paint it an off-white colour uh, which is not completely random because I mean it will be a different colour slightly but like the side of our house is this off-white colour um, I thought I would just neaten it up a little bit and actually I need to clean and maybe touch up this like lamp thing so it was time to go in with another load of exterior paint from Lick, this time in white 01. Started by using one of these like wire brushes to kind of scrape off all of the rough bits of wood and cobwebs and the like. And actually doing this, I realized that I didn't need to sand it, like this brush was enough. And then I just got into painting, because it was a light color, I did actually need two coats of this and I masked along the bottom just to make sure I stayed on the wood. Look at this! Sorry, it's really windy. It <laughs> sounds um, a bit like I'm near the sea or something. But yeah, look at that! I mean, I kind of wish that I'd done a proper before and after because it does look radically different even if it doesn't seem like it. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm very impressed. Even though a lot of this area will be covered with an outdoor rug, but still, it has made a real difference. And actually, do you know what's funny? It looks better in real life than it does on camera. A little shot of what the garden is currently looking like, and it is so green. I can't even believe that it is the same garden. All of the grass seed has grown, and it's just not patchy anymore. Excuse the neighbor's garden. Always my favourite part, styling the space and thankfully I was at the point where I could do this because I'd actually laid all the foundations and we'd done all of the really boring jobs and I bought this kind of seating of Wayfair. It was really great because it actually fitted in the space which was very small. As I said our patio is kind of skinny. Ah, the sound of the city. <laughs> Um, right, so what I really want to do is paint this planter that I've just got. I have a slight problem. So I've, I've ordered this lovely thing, which was surprisingly reasonable. I can't actually remember how much or where it was from. But um, yeah, I want to plant some herbs just to fill in, <laughs> excuse the swimming pool, this little gap right here 
to kind of cover some of that soil. So um, I'm going to paint it the same color as the fence, like these little planters that I got from Facebook Marketplace. Um, but they were also just plain wood before. Um, but yes, I've, <laughs> I've encountered an issue and that is I clearly didn't, um, yeah, clean this well enough before I put it back, put the lid on. So I tried really hard. I tried chipping away bits around here. It just wasn't working. So <laughs> I just decided to make a hole in the lid with a hammer and this which I did two holes and then I kind of tried to join them together to make a bigger hole I, not a conventional way of um, opening a paint can at all but I'm going to see if it pours out into this little tray and hopefully I'll be able to paint it <laughs> we'll see oh oh yeah that's right it worked what a brilliant idea. The things that you can use a hammer for. <laughs> Time to add in some festoon lights and we use the attachments left over from the canopy for the playhouse just to make sure that they were really secure and that we could put them in the brick so they were up high and then strung them to the other side.
there you go. It looks a lot, a lot, a lot better than it ever did before. The fence makes such a big difference having that that kind of nice dark color and it all being uniform rather than having the different fence panels all different colors and so like weather beaten and faded that provides the perfect backdrop for the whole garden and even though we worked a lot on the lawn and nick laid new turf and he put down grass seed and there was a there was a point I'd say around June time when the grass looked really great and really green and luscious. And I have to say with the various incredibly hot heat waves that we've had here, um, and even with him kind of watering it and taking care of it, like it does kind of now look a little bit like the brown plains of Africa, but still the groundwork has been laid. So hopefully next year it will be even more grown in and looking good for spring if we take care of it. And now, honestly, it is so nice to have that area on the paving where we can sit and chill out and enjoy the summer evenings because honestly, we spent so long having that whole area just covered in garden bin liners full of garden waste that we needed to take to the dump and all of that stuff like getting rained on and then seeping out. It was very, very sad. And all of the plants that we've been able to put in, I mean, there's a mix of fake ones and real ones because I didn't trust myself in being able to keep alive all real ones, but I'm, I'm doing my best. And at least I know that there will be some that will definitely stay green throughout the year. That just makes such a huge difference because it softens up everything. And I've tried to keep a lot of them to that patio space rather than spreading them out through the garden because whilst that would be lovely we just don't have the budget to do that so actually for maximum impact I kind of kept them in that small space and I think that that works really well for now and maybe in the future we can add more plants to the other bits of the garden maybe we can even grow our own vegetables that would be so nice once again I'm dubious as to how I would do that with my track record but it might be worth a try also as you may know if you've watched my other videos we are renting and so I did ask the landlord if I could paint the fences and as with most things that I've asked him I was pretty sure that he would say yes because they were in such a bad state uh, it was only going to be an improvement really and he's actually since been to the garden and he says that it looks lovely and he, he's just never witnessed anybody in any of his properties as renters that have actually made such an effort to make a place a home so don't worry it's a-okay with the landlord <laughs> So I really hope you enjoyed this transformation as much as I do now. Didn't massively enjoy the process of it. I have to say I enjoy working on interiors much more than exteriors, but I enjoy the end result. So if you do like it, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do leave a comment to say what you like particularly, or maybe your experience of doing over your garden um, and patio space. Any tips, because we are total amateurs, so, any advice would be really, really handy, or even just in terms of like maintenance and upkeep going forward. And if you're enjoying my videos, please do subscribe. Every follower means a lot and it just really helps as I'm trying to kind of grow what I'm doing on YouTube, even though I don't really know what I'm doing, but <laughs> hopefully you enjoy it. <laughs> do follow along on Instagram for more day-to-day -day behind the scenes, mixed in with a bit of life stuff and random things. I post on there pretty much every day in relation to my slightly less regular YouTube content. So go follow me over there too. And I will see you next time for the third and final garden makeover video. And in that one, we're gonna be tackling the side portion of our garden down the side of our house. There's just a really random space that I wasn't sure what to do with, but it's looking really good and I'm hoping to share it with you next time. So, so until then, farewell and I will see you soon.